I want to go over and show you the different audio recordings that you can do on the computer with the new PreSonus boards. First program I want to show you is the one that comes with the board itself called PreSonus Capture 2. This is both on the Windows and Mac computers. When you first open it up, you'll see it prompts you to either start a new new session or op or just hit record now and it'll just start recording right away or I can open an old session. I'm going to do the proper way and start a new session. Here it's going to prompt you to choose a location to save it and give it a name. This is where you can plug your external hard drive right into the computer and record to that. I'm going to hit OK here. And now you'll see I have, these are the tracks that are hooked up to it. So I have tracks 1, 2 are individuals and I have two stereo tracks that are joined together and I have my main outputs at the end here. So this is just recording the actual outputs and anything that's read here means it's armed to record. So when I hit the record button, all these tracks will record to the computer. The only mic I turn, they turn have turned on is the uh, mic two that I'm talking into. And if I turn this down, so you hear me on the camera audio now, it's still showing up on the screen. It's still getting signal. So what you're recording when you do individual tracks isn't based on the volume level here, but the signal level on top where your gain control is. That's what's recording. I'm also recording my stereo outs all the way to the right here as well. So I can turn on or off. So maybe I'll turn off the tracks that I'm obviously not even using. I'm not using three, four, or five, or six right now. So I can turn those off. You'll also see below here there's a little blue chain link. Because those are stereo tracks, they're linked together, I could unjoin them and make them individual tracks. So that way I have my inserts are individuals instead of a joined stereo track. Now once I'm ready to record, I just simply hit the big record button on top and it's going to record the stereo output on the bottom and it's going to record individual microphone tracks. So if you have two, three people, each one will get its own track plus your stereo output that you're recording at the same time. So once you're doing that, you can see I have my record duration, current position, how much time is left on the hard drive to record with. When I'm done, to stop it, I have to hit the lock button first and then hit the stop button. And now I have all these. And what I can do is I can go in and export all the tracks. So this is going to let me export the tracks. When I do this, I'll go ahead and do it here. It exported a mono track for each of the individual tracks and the stereo master track. So now I have more flexibility in post-production. Maybe I just want the stereo track, I'm doing simple stuff, but if I'm doing things where I have different people at different levels and I want to mix them together in post-production, this allows me to do it very easily and I can do it in any editing program I want. This is just a capture program. I can bring this into Audition now and have individual control on these tracks and because I recorded them together, I don't have to sync them up. They're, they're exactly the same length. They have the same time code. It makes it much easier to work that way. Another program that we have that we can record with, of course, is Audacity. So in Audacity, you want to make sure your input is the Studio Live AR8 or AR12 if you're in the middle room. And then you can choose which track on the board you're recording from. You can record just the mono recording or stereo recording. And in the other room in this, with the bigger board, you'll want to find the left, right. It'll say um, stereo LR. That would be the left and right main outs that you want to record from. And then you can just hit the record button and export like you usually do with Audacity. So in GarageBand, first make sure you go to your preferences here. And on input devices, make sure the Studio Live AR8 is selected. And now you'll see down here, you'll see all the inputs just like in um, Audition, here's my inputs one, two. So I'm, I'm actually in input two right now. So now I can see the level up here. There's my input two and I can adjust my record volume up here. Check one, two. I also have my stereo output as well. So now I have control so I can just do just the track that I'm currently on and just record that. It's not as um, robust as the capture program, which I recommend if you want to do multi-track recording, but if you're just doing simple, I just want to record one microphone, I can still do that through here. So it's very versatile.